Let's talk about home buyer programs. I know a lot of times people, I get them call people call them first time home buyer programs. I know sometimes that's the case. You have to be a first time home buyer and sometimes you don't. Uh, so you're the professional. So tell us more about, you know, what people might be looking for. Um, especially in this market where you really do have to save a lot of your funds to buy down interest rates or to pay down costs. Um, oh, first time home buyer programs are really great. Uh, typically when people are referring to a first time home buyer, they mean people who haven't owned a property in the last three years. That's not technically what qualifies as a first time home buyer for mortgages, but they're low down payment programs, anywhere between three and 5% down. Um, and they're like the 3% program is only available to first time home buyers, 5% and 3.5% are available to any home buyer so long as they're occupying, but most people take advantage of them when they're first time home buyer. Uh, there are also bond programs, down payment assistance programs. Some are specific to being a first time home buyer, some are just specific to being an occupant home buyer. But in general, that's what people are referring to are just low down payment programs that are more flexible in credit and more flexible with debt to income ratios. Awesome. Like how easy are these programs to obtain? I think just mortgages in general, a lot of people are, they're scared of, they think the process is unfortunately absolutely horrific. And I know you make it easy for everybody. Um, like how easy are they to get? Yeah. So getting a mortgage is like getting a physical, right? Uh, you provide a whole bunch of information to someone and we always just like worry we have like a fatal illness. Um, everyone's like, I'm not going to qualify. So it's generally 30 days pay paycheck stubs, last years of W-2s. We want to see a two-year work history and a credit score greater than 580. That's typically what it, what it takes to qualify. Okay. Now there's obviously more specifics in terms of debt to income ratio or, or, you know, types of income, assets, et cetera. Uh, but generally speaking, we want to see the foundation is like two years work history, a debt to income ratio under 45% and down payment funds, anywhere between three and 5%. I personally feel like it's not a complicated process. It's just one, like buying a home is the second most stressful short-term event in a person's life versus death of a family member. It just mm -hmm. makes people feel really uncomfortable. And, you know, it's like, if you aren't needing to get a home loan, a lot of times people don't pay attention, believe it or not, to like where they put their taxes or, mm -hmm. or where their last paycheck stuff went. And those are ty the types of things that cause people anxiety. Hopefully you're enjoying this interview with Lizzie and you're getting a ton of information. If you are a home buyer here in the Phoenix area and you need my help, text message me at 480-498-3334. It is not a complicated process though. It's just a stressful one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so I know we're throwing around a lot of terms and debt to income ratio and percentages and things right. like that. So if you haven't purchased a home, a lot of that can sound very uh, scary. Uh, so if you're local here in Arizona, uh, like, so Lizzie and her team are fantastic resource. So if, to be honest with none of that absolutely made sense, get in touch with her and she can run you through the process painlessly. If you're watching this somewhere else, reach out to a mortgage originator wherever you are and they can do the same. Cause I think that's kind of one of the biggest fears is a lot of people, you know, they read a lot of things on the internet about this, that, and the other thing. And it almost scares them or gives them an overwhelming amount of information. So they don't know where to start. So they just don't start at all. Or I think even worse, a lot of times, uh, especially when you say having good credit, people will go to something, uh, an online credit reporting. Uh, I don't even know the name, but anyways, a long, but they run their credit. It spits out a number. And just so you know, that's not even really the number that a mortgage lender uses. And I get people, oh, I'm trying to fix my credit and they're doing it on their own. And I've actually had it happen to clients of mine before where they do it on their own and they actually make their credit worse where someone like yourself can give them advice on exactly the changes they need to make to become a home buyer. For sure. And one of the things that I will say is that as a first time home buyer, the importance of getting pre-qualified as soon as possible is going to be the, the number one tactic that I would recommend. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be anywhere between six months to 24 months, right? So two years. Mm -hmm. And 
so that way we have enough time to work on credit. We have enough time to save a down payment. You have enough time to understand how that monthly payment impacts your budget. A lot of times people think that because they're not in the market to buy in the next 30 to 45 days, they should hold off. But the sooner you know, the better you can plan. And the best planned home buyers are the ones that have the easiest, smoothest transactions. So I would definitely recommend that. Um, as far as credit repair, guys, just know that, you know, it sounds logical, the less amount of credit you have, the higher your credit score. And you would think that, right, because you would say, okay, well, I have less debt. But really what we're looking for is your ability to repay and being able to demonstrate that you have lines of credit that you can borrow from, that you repay on a regular, consistent basis mm -hmm. is what's really going to improve that score. And so oftentimes, like you said, they'll look at a credit karma and they'll close a bunch of accounts thinking that they're reducing their debt when mm -hmm. they're in fact just closing off like their credit references. Mm -hmm. So if you think of it more like a resume versus like um, an example of how much debt you have, you would treat your credit differently. So, and that's all the stuff that we educate clients on when they're through the home buying process with us. Now that was some phenomenal information. If you are a home buyer, make sure to subscribe to our channel here. And this is the next video you need to watch.